So what I want to do for you today is summarize a really cool study on conformity because it goes so much deeper than just saying your brain is hardwired to conform. And so in the study, all you had to do if you're a participant is to rate how attractive a face was. But while you're doing this, you're having your brain imaged. So the first face comes up and you say, well, it's a six out of 10. Now they told you that they also were gonna share information about how a much larger group who was sampled previously rated the face. And let's imagine on this occasion, they rated the face as an eight. So you gave it a six, they gave it an eight. Something really interesting happens with the way your brain responds to this. So they know areas of the brain that light up when we make mistakes. Well, it turns out when our numbers don't match, the brain interprets that as a mistake. Those same brain areas light up. So when you are a nonconformist, your brain literally thinks you are making a mistake. But that's only the first part of it. So after they were done, they said, well, can we actually have you rate the faces one more time? And we're not even going to worry about imaging your brain this time. So they took the same faces and they mixed them all up and had them rate the faces again. Now, you might have guessed this part. When they rated the faces again, their numbers came to come much more close to those of the larger group, which is really interesting because you might say, well, maybe there's just something interesting about the faces, but it was all made up. It was all randomized. So that is so interesting and also at the same time a little scary about how our brain is wired not to conform to the real behavior of the group, just what we think the group is thinking.